Hey everyone, this is James from Mission, and today we're talking about the Mission VM Pro volume pedal. So here's a VM Pro here. Let's talk about a couple of the uh, features of the VM Pro. The first thing is it's uh, it's an all metal chassis and it's uh, powder coated and high quality finish, so it's going to last you a long time. The form factor is a little smaller than you commonly see with volume pedals so it should take up less space on your pedal board. It's more like a similar to a wah form factor in terms of size and if you need the specific dimensions they're listed on the VM Pro page on the website. The difference that you'll see from a wah pedal is the sweep. A wah pedal typically has a fairly narrow sweep something like this whereas this has a much extended sweep that makes it suitable for a volume pedal. So it's all metal, high quality finish, takes up small space on your pedal board and it has a long volume sweep. On the left hand side is the input. This is where you plug in your instrument. Now the VM Pro is very flexible in terms of what you can plug in. So you can plug in um, passive electric guitar pickups, you can plug in active electric guitar pickups. Typically you'd need two different volume pedals for those but the VM Pro, you can support both with the same pedal. You can plug in all sorts of instruments, um, electric guitars, bass guitars, baritones, uh, electroacoustic guitars. There's also a PZ version, and the PZ version is designed to work with piezoelectric pickups, and this is fairly unique for volume pedals, and that lets you plug in um, acoustic instruments, guitars, violins, cellos, upright basses, and even some electric guitars that have both uh, piezo and magnetic pickups. So that's the VM Pro PZ version. On the other side of the pedal here are two connectors. This is the, uh, the output. I'm gonna talk about the stereo output capability of this in just a second. And then this is the power input. If you look on the underside, there's a battery door there where you can plug in a nine volt battery but you can also use external power supply, of course. Um, it uses a fairly standard 2.1 millimeter DC center pin negative power supply. It's fairly flexible, so you can plug in pretty much anything between uh, nine volt and 18 volt DC power supplies to drive the power externally. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the buffer function of the VM Pro. So the VM Pro is a fully buffered volume pedal. Uh, what does that mean? There's a buffer that's integrated into the pedal itself, and that's what the battery and the external power supply drive. The purpose of the buffer is to isolate whatever's on the input from whatever's on the output. And the main reason for that is that you'll often find that if you're connecting, certainly people find this with other volume pedals, and you'll find it if you have long cable runs if you have pedal boards with lots of true bypass pedals on, um, that that combination of devices and cables that sit on the output side add resistance and capacitance to the circuit. And that can cause tone problems for your pickups. And what you'll see is that you'll get a reduction in the high frequency. So if you've ever plugged in your guitar into your rig and then discovered that you've lost some high frequency, that's typically what that is, uh, some people call it tone suck, but basically it's the extra capacitance and resistance of all those components sitting on the back end. The addition of a buffer isolates that. Effectively what it means is the pickups only see the cable going between the guitar and the input side, and then everything that hangs off the back is protected. So you can run large pedal boards with lots of uh, effects pedals, you can run very long cable runs back to your amp, and you won't have any problems. The second thing is that there's a tuner out on here. Sometimes people want to connect a, a tuner to their input so they can tune the guitar. And typically that can cause a problem because tuners are not, in all cases, uh, especially good at avoiding tone suck. And so people will find that they connect a tuner and then they suffer these um, additional high frequency losses. So the way that we deal with that here is we have a a stereo output here, this output is actually a TRS output, and going into that TRS output are two separate channels off of the buffer's amplifier. One of them drives your signal chain, 
So that'll plug into your next effects pedal or into your amp. And then the second one will go to the tune rail. There are two separate channels on the amplifier so they're completely isolated from each other. So you can plug a tuner in and it won't degrade the signal going to the amp. You can see here there's just one connector on there. So the way that works is this is actually a TRS connector. The amp connection goes out through the tip and then the tuner connection goes out through the ring. So you just need an insert cable in here that will split it out into the two. And there's a mission cable available on the website um, or from our resellers that will do the trick or you can use any stereo insert cable. If you don't want to use the tuner out, you can just plug in a regular mono TS guitar cable and the tuner output being active. All right, that's the buffer functionality of the VM Pro. So some of the other features on the VM Pro that are, are unique to Mission Volume Pedals is some internal uh, switches and uh, controls to control exactly how the VM Pro functions in your rig. So if you remove the bottom plate, you'll see inside that there's a little three position switch block and that controls the input and output impedances um, and also a little feature that we call Mission Sparkle. So let's talk about those very quickly. Um, on the input side, there's control for the type of pickups that you're using with the pedal. Now, the default is set up for passive pickups and that's gonna work with most magnetic pickups on guitars, um, most uh, basses, electroacoustic guitars. You'll be just fine with that. Now, under certain circumstances, if you're using active pickups, active pickups already have a little amplifier and buffer in them of their own and you can actually get some mismatch, particularly with very high output active pickups, where you may find that it overdrives the volume pedal a little bit. The way to fix that is just to use the switch block on the underside and hit the active passive switch. If you're using active pickups, just switch that into the active position and then you can use the volume pedal with active pickups. Otherwise, leave it in the default position and it should work fine. The second switch on there is um, the output impedance and this is if you want to use the volume pedal with a rig where you have um, say a vintage fuzz face or a clone of a fuzz face, other types of uh, fuzz or distortion pedals, they're expecting a guitar input. People often find that um, if the, you're using those types of devices they expect a guitar pickup to be plugged directly into them. They don't really like going second, third, fourth down in the signal chain. They like to have guitar pickups directly plugged into them. And this limits you a little bit because it means you have to put that effect first and then everything else has to come after it. And when you're using the volume pedal, commonly you want to put the volume pedal first, especially if it's a buffered volume pedal because you want the buffer connected direct to the pickups and you want to put the fuzz second and you can't do that with most because you're inputting the volume into the fuzz and it doesn't like it. However, that problem is fixed with the VM Pro because there's a switch inside. The default is standard impedance, but if you're using a fuzz pedal that experiences this problem, just switch the switch and that will present a different impedance to the fuzz pedal, basically convincing it that it's connected direct to the guitar pickups. The last switch on there is the Mission Sparkle switch. Typically when you use a volume control of any sort, whether it's the volume on your guitar or a volume pedal, when you roll back the volume, you tend to hear some loss of high frequencies. So the signal tends to get a little bit darker as you roll the volume back. You'll find that if you use just the volume pedal on the guitar or if you use a, a volume control of any other sort. And this is quite typical for guitars and most people actually like that for a guitar. It's part of the, the volume rolling off sound. It's the darkening as well as the reduction of volume. But sometimes you don't want that. Um, maybe for certain types of recording, you want to maintain that high frequency. Certainly with other instruments, like maybe keyboards or particularly acoustic instruments, you may want to maintain that high frequency and have a little extra sparkle to the signal as you roll back the volume. That's what the sparkle switch does. By default, it's flat, but if you want to add the extra high frequency sparkle as you roll back the volume, just flip the sparkle switch. So that's the switch block. The last internal adjustment is the minimum volume control. 
minimum volume control is a little screw uh, trimmer inside the pedal. And by default, the volume pedal is all the way off when you're going to heel down. So it's actually muted. If you're familiar with the Mission VM1, that actually has a switch in the toe position and you can click that down and that will actually completely mute the output. The VM Pro doesn't need that. It actually goes automatically into mute mode when you're going to heel down. But sometimes you may want to use a volume pedal as kind of a minimum maximum volume control. So in toe down you may want full volume, but in heel down instead of being all the way off you may want say 50% volume so that this is for your rhythm playing and this is for your lead playing, or you want to use this for regular and then this for boost. So you can adjust that with the trimmer control. By default, as I say, it will be off in heel down, but you can adjust the trimmer inside the pedal and that will allow you to raise that minimum volume so that maybe this will be say 30, 40, 50% volume at heel down and then maximum at toe down. All right, that is the adjustments you can make to the VM Pro. All right, folks, well, thanks for sticking with us to the end here. This is um, the Mission VM Pro volume pedal. It's available in standard version and PZ version for Paizo electric pickups. It's available in black and red, and it's available now from the Mission web store at missionengineering.com and from Mission authorized dealers worldwide. Thanks, and see you again soon.